I'm Jonathan Richmond, the founder of Take Off Space together with a number of other alumni from MIT and we try to help extremely talented kids from difficult backgrounds succeed in getting into top colleges. I'm also uh, a product of St. Paul's, one of the most amazing schools in England and I was invited to chair a table at their first engineering evening which was a wonderful event and which is where I met Julius who was sitting at the table and who later tracked me down on LinkedIn. Uh, Julius is applying to a variety of universities and was interested in having my team help him with his American University applications, which we've been delighted to do. Uh, Julius is extremely brilliant in many ways. His number one obsession, where he, he is quite extraordinary, is in maths, uh, but he's also quite accomplished in portraiture and is very interested in art and a member of the National Portrait Gallery's Youth Project. Um, and he likes taking people around at the North National Portrait Gallery and today uh, he offered very kindly to take a group of my friends and family to see some of his favourite paintings. My name is Julius and I transferred to St Paul School about two years ago. I'm very privileged to study at this wonderful place um, and really enjoy the challenging academic environment which really allowed me to explore my, my interests. I'm especially interested in portraiture as well as mathematics. Um, I like portraiture because I think the portrait really captures the personality even better than photography does. And uh, I really enjoy giving tours around the National Portrait Galleries. I have been volunteering at the National Portrait Gallery for almost two years and a half as a member on the Youth Forum. And I, and I enjoy combining engineering and art. This is my favorite painting, the Control Collection, and it's a self-portrait of the artist Paul um, Vazelay, this British artist who later um, settled down in Paris. Uh, the thing I really like about the painting is the way in which she really experimented with uh, different perspectives in her in portrait, and you can see here on the, on the face, the, head, the face is being drawn from uh, a, a different variety of perspectives and you have that sort of almost cubist effect which is really interesting for, for a self-portrait because I guess that relates to the artist's own self-exploration of her own personality and also if you look at the, the use of colours you can see there's uh, um, sort of many different uh, pastel-like colours like the pink um, grey and white, very unsaturated um, colours, almost creating a very um, a very thin, dreamlike atmosphere, which I think really captures the personality of the artist.